everyone. Welcome back to Miss Hyder's Reading Corner. And we are on week two of Read Alouds and our theme this week is Perseverance. And I have the best book to start the week. It is called Me in the Sky. And it's actually a real story about a woman named Beverly Bass. And you are gonna find out why she was significant and what it has to do with perseverance. So here we go. This is the story that begins with a stubborn little girl with one thing on her mind, flying. She would climb up on her family's washing machine and jump off, her arms outstretched like wings. She fell and bruised her knees, but she climbed right back up and tried again. Her name is Beverly Bass. When Beverly was a baby in a stroller, she squealed and reached with both hands for airplanes flying overhead. When Beverly got a little older, she talked her Aunt Ginger into taking her out to the airplane at night to watch the airplanes take off and land. When she was a little older still, Beverly asked her daddy if she could take flying lessons when she turned 16. He shook his head. He was sure that flying was only the passing fancy of a little girl with a big imagination. But Beverly would not give up on her dream. Remember the washing machine? She looked up into the sky and knew she had to go there. It was such an unusual aspiration for a young girl that she didn't even talk about it much with her friends. But her determination never wavered. When she was 19, Beverly decided she could wait no longer she drove herself to the airport and signed up for flying lessons. Beverly had been flying in airplanes since she was little, just walking into the small airport terminal in her hometown of Fort Myers, Florida, got her heart beating fast. And when the engines revved and the propellers whirled and the plane began rolling down the runway faster and faster, Beverly's heart swelled up so much she thought it would burst. Her heart pounded the day she climbed aboard the small trainer plane for the very first flying lesson. She had no idea her instructor was going to let her hold the controls. She wrapped her hands around the yoke. At last, she was where she had dreamed of being all her life, in the pilot seat of an airplane. Beverly had always been fascinated by how tiny everything looked from an airplane. And it was even more striking when she was the one doing the flying. She gazed down at the tops of trees and at cars so small, they looked like toys. She saw houses with tiny swimming pools and tinier people. They flew over the beach. Look, white seagulls floating way down below the plane. Beverly's smile grew so wide that tears came to her eyes. She felt as if she were floating. When she got home that evening, Beverly said to her parents, I am going to fly for the rest of my life. She was a natural, fearless, confident, and eager to learn. It wasn't long before Beverly was allowed to fly by herself with no instructor aboard the airplane. When she flew over her house, her mother would run outside and wave. Her parents were proud of their darling daughter. Beverly wanted to do more than just fly for fun. She wanted to be an airplane pilot, the kind who wears a uniform and flies big airplanes filled with people. What an idea. Everybody knew that airplane pilots were men, not girls. People felt safe in planes flown by men. Who would feel safe with only a girl in the cockpit? This is the way people thought when Beverly was growing up, not so very long ago. But Beverly was stubborn. Remember the washing machine? She kept taking lessons until she got the license she needed to fly cargo. She took jobs that men didn't want. She took jobs that men left behind when they got better ones. And in this way, she too moved on to better jobs. Like flying private planes for businessmen. Again and again, Beverly proved that she could do anything men could do. She showed people that it doesn't take big muscles to fly airplanes. It takes brains and determination, and she had plenty of both. And at last, her chance came. American Airlines was hiring pilots. In those days, all pilots started out as flight engineers or co-pilots. A flight engineer sits behind the co-pilot in the cockpit and ensures that all the systems that make the aircraft fly are working properly. 
It is a great responsibility. Very few women in the United States had held that position. Would American Airlines trust a 24-year-old woman with such a job? They did. Two years later, Beverly moved up a seat right next to the captain of the airplane. She had been promoted to co-pilot and was now one of the only women in the United States who were first officers aboard a major passenger carrier. A few years after that, Beverly's lifelong dream came true. She moved up once more into the captain's seat. At the age of only 34, Beverly Bass made history as the first woman ever to captain an American Airlines commercial airliner. When they gave Beverly her silver captain's wings, her heart filled with pride and her eyes with tears of gratitude. On one of her first flights as captain, Beverly flew into her hometown airport. The man who had let Beverly hold the controls on her first flying lesson was there to meet her along with her parents, news reporters, her third grade teacher, her lifelong best friend Lori, and a hundred other people. After her departure, as the jetliner 727 began to roll down the runway, the crowd grew quiet. Watching through the big glass window of the terminal, their heads turned together as the jet rushed past them. Captain Bass eased the throttles forward, the nose of the plane lifted, and the roar of a hundred voices rose with it. The little girl who used to jump off her mother's washing machine grew up to make history. She was the first female captain of an American Airlines B-727 and then of an American Airlines B-767. She was the first female to captain an all-female flight crew for American Airlines and was also their first female Czech airman, air woman, teaching other pilots to fly their big aircrafts. Oh, and the little girl who was told that girls can't fly big airplanes? She was the first female to command a Boeing 777, the largest twin jet in the world for an air airline. Never let anyone tell you that you can't, Beverly says. Can't is the worst word in the English language. Believe in yourself and know that you can do anything you set your mind to. Beverly's life teaches us that dreams can come true, but not by wishing. Dreams come true through hard work and determination. Her message is simple. No dream is too big. Dream big and soar high. The end. So I hope you enjoyed today's story and I will see you tomorrow for another one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.